you somehow end up finishing it and then you come home, you don't go to the gym, you don't exercise, you don't have the energy to call your friends, family to talk on the phone, which normally you do. You just want to go home and rest. So how much control did you have on this day? How did you manipulate it? How did you design it? And then the next day, maybe the same thing. Let's go, you, let's say you go through a period in your life that you're out of school or like now, and there's not much going on. You don't have anything to do and you're tired a lot. You don't have any energy. In your mind, you wanna do all these creative projects, but your body is not doing it. You don't have the energy to do it. So how much are you in control? How come you can't do it? How come you can't command yourself into doing a project? Why don't you have the energy? Why aren't you in the mood? Why isn't it happening for you? You're the one who calls the shots. You're in control. Have you ever thought about that? Do you ever examine that? Do you examine that how much of events of life is going your way? And it's according, it's going according to the way you want it. Do you ever look at that? Or do you live 60, 70 years old from the time you were born to the time you die, 80 years old, never questioning this ever because the herd, the general, the population, the 7 billion people, they're all going in this direction. Everybody's is going in that direction. Everybody believes that there are a person, there are a separate entity, there's an individual here. They're all being told the whole, st the same story. That you have your own free will, you can create your own future, you can decide what to do. You were born, when you're born, wherever you're landing, so let's say you're landing, you were born in Norway, so you land in, or you were born in Morocco, or you were born in South America, in Costa Rica, wherever you're born. First thing they do is they're gonna attach a label on your forehead that you're Norwegian, you're American, you are from Costa Rica, you're from Morocco. They put a label on you. And then they give you a name and a last name. So you have your nationality that was chosen for you, you didn't choose it. They given you your name and your last name, you had nothing to say, you can't choose, okay? It's implemented. Then they give you a religion. So that's your religion. So you got your nationality, you got your religion, you got your first name, you got your last name. Obviously you came with either a sex, man or woman. So you entered like that. Then you have your looks, you have your body. Maybe you came with some defective, defection, something's wrong, maybe not. So how much of these things do you choose? Where did you choose these things? Now you're living your life.
throughout your life, you're striving for better. You're striving to, you have some goals. Now it depends that when they let you out of the gate, you know, the horse has run out of the gate. What kind of start did you have? The first 20 years in your life, how did you start? Now, let's say you're in a very loving, supportive family and there's money and you are supported. You're not physically abused. You're not sexually abused. Your dad, your mom are balanced. They don't beat you up. They don't rape you. They don't kick you out of the house. You don't see any traumatic events happen in your house. People are not beating each other up. They're not beating you up. You don't see anything traumatizing. So you're in a supported environment. There is love, there is encouragement. Then you go to school, you get education, your family is supportive of you, and you end up going to Harvard University or Oxford University or MIT or some very good school and you get a very good education and you are supported on that path and you end up becoming a medical doctor or you end up being an attorney, an engineer, a scientist, an actor, actress, but you're supported. So when you come out of the gate, the first 20 years that you're out of the gate, you are supported, you're on the right path. So that kind of sets the tone for the rest of your life. So how much of that did you choose? Versus being on this situation that you start, parents are abusive, or father halfway through leaves, he disappears, he got your mom pregnant, after a couple of years, few years, he bailed, he ran away, so he doesn't exist. Your mom is an alcoholic or she's drug addict and da 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 da. She dies when you're nine years old. You end up being with foster parents from one shelter home to another. You run away from home when you're 15. You get pregnant when you're 17. You never finish school. You're bewildered, you're always broke. You got a lot of stuff to work on. How much did, that, did you choose? What part of it was your choice? Tell me that. How does your feel free will come in here? You created that. If you did that, you did a real shitty job because you don't know how to create things. You have to go back to school and learn that. 